All right, what you eating for breakfast? Um, cereal. Cereal. Hey, that's what I'm gonna eat too. Or should I? Should I eat cereal? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Can't read it. 120 calories for a cup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 160 including whole no fat-free milk. Here's what we're gonna do. I pour typically that much when I do cereal, but I never know how much that is, so I am going to measure it. There's one cup. Wow. I'm actually not much more than a cup, like a cup and a, let me see, hold on. Less than a quarter cup off, so we have just under a cup and a quarter. So, to be accurate, we're going to dump that back in, and we're going to do a cup of cereal and a half a cup of milk. Milk is measured. This is not a commercial for Kellogg's Corn Pops. What kind of cereal are you having? Mmm, Cheerios. Are they delicious? You having some corn pops? Uh, this cereal. With no milk. Okay, hey, come here. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey. Get it. Come on. Because of a She's like, nope. So, uh, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> you're trying to make me walk. I don't want to walk. Okay. Need to get ready for lunch. I think we are going to do tuna. Let's see. What's the calories on this guy? What? Yeah. 60 calories. So it's only 120 calories for this All whole right, can. So I added two tablespoons of mayo, which is 100 calories. Plus, I'm throwing pickles, and I just looked at pickles, and there's zero calories. So I can put as much of that in there as I want, and we're at 220. So 220 for this. Say bye bye, Dad. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good job. Bye bye, Dad. See y'all later. So I ended up getting 600 calories for food. Well, I'm at work today. We have tuna with a pita, uh, an apple, and some cashews. Cashews are actually really high calorie. That little thing of cashews is about 200 calories, 170 or something like that. So, 600 calories. I had 200 calories for breakfast. I know the uh, the cereal actually said it was 160, but of course I'm gonna round up to the nearest 50. And uh, because, you know, I had a handful here, and uh, so yeah, 200 calories for breakfast. All right, I'm on my way home from work, and today I did actually, I was going to eat, do 600 calories. How about I turn with the steering wheel? And I ended up doing um, closer to 800 because I was at a meeting where they had those little miniature Hershey bars, like Crackle and Mr. Good Bar and Dark Chocolate. And I was withholding and withholding. They were sitting there right in front of me on the table. Everybody else was eating them. And I was abstaining from it. And they kept calling me and calling me and calling me. And I gave in. And I ate four of them. And four of them were, I think, 160 something calories. I went and looked it up afterwards. So. Because my rule of rounding up, that's 200 calories, so I'm calling it 800 calories. Which is still okay, because I only had 200 calories for breakfast, so I'm at 1,000 right now. 1,000 calories. So, if I can get away with eating under 800 calories tonight, I'll be happy. I did enjoy the chocolate, so, and I think that's okay, as long as I don't go over my calories. So, with that said, do you like those little miniature Hershey candy bars? At least they're miniature, at least I wasn't eating full candy bars. 
What is your favorite? Do you like Mr. Good Bar? Do you like Crackle? Or are you regular Hershey's Milk Chocolate or Dark Chocolate? I, I used to like Crackle. Um, I see, I didn't eat a Mr. Good Bar today, so I don't know. I had like uh, two Dark Chocolates, uh, Milk Chocolate, and a Crackle. And I think I like Milk Chocolate the best. I, I used to like the Crackles or Mr. Good Bars. I don't remember which one I liked best, but I think I like just the plain milk chocolate. And I do, I used to not like dark chocolate, but, or the, what do they call it, after dark? Uh, but I do, or no, special dark, that's what they're called, special dark. And, but I actually like special darks as well. They're close second to the uh, milk chocolate. So, yeah, chocolate, I love it. Are you eating your football? <laughs> what do you guys want for dinner? Hmm? What do you want for dinner? I don't know. You don't know? Well, I... hurry up and figure it out. Jeez. That's very easy. Hey. Good idea. What do you want for dinner? You don't care. All right, should I just estimate how many calories are in a you pancake? You can work it out if you need to. I think you could just look online how many calories are in a pancake, but all pancakes are different. Whole, whole wheat's not going to have that many fewer calories. I'm just telling you. It's just going to have more nutrients. It's just better for you. It's just better for you. I'll just go. I'll look up what other pancakes have or the typical pancake has. Right, we looked up all the ingredients and calculated out, and we're estimating. For the whole batch of pancakes, it's 1,275 calories, and she thinks she made 13, roughly 13 pancakes. So we're going to estimate 100 calories per pancake. Okay. So how many can pancakes should I eat? Now, here's the trick. That's no syrup. 100 calories per pancake, but if you put syrup on it, where's the syrup? Syrup is 210 calories per fourth of a cup. That's a lot of syrup. Fourth of a cup? 210 per fourth of a cup. Holy cow. I, I need to I need to see how much. I'm gonna include the recipe for these pancakes because they're the best pancakes. Only 100 calories per pancake. Uh, but it has wheat flour, brown sugar, baking powder, salt, oil, eggs, milk. So it doesn't use we don't use best quick. Well, we used to, but it's actually not that hard to make pancakes. You don't need best quick. It's almost easier. It tastes, pretty, it tastes pretty similar to me, Biscuit. And I can eat them without syrup. The syrup was 210 calories. So, 200 calories and I just ate two pancakes and now I have room for 600 calories or so. Ice cream! <laughs> Here's how yeah. we burn off our calories from eating pancakes with syrup. How many did you eat? How many did you eat? Oh, uh, like five. <laughs> five with lots of syrup. So, think about it. He just ate like a thousand calories or something. That little guy. That's. Alright, I guess I should do the same. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Do a jog. Burn a few calories. This is how kids can eat so much junk. Alright, how many laps do we at? 20? I think we've done 20. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. It's not safe to vlog and run at the same time. Alright. We're trying to uh, talk to my parents. You guys wanna be in my video? All right, we're sitting at 1,200 calories, and I'm going to have some hot chocolate. And instead of milk, I'm gonna use water, which won't taste quite as good, but I'll counter that with this syrup we have. This one is English toffee. We also have French vanilla over there. Stick this in your hot chocolate. It makes it taste good. 
So that'll be 300 calories, so it'll put me at 1,500 calories for the day, and that would be a good day. One thing I was thinking about is I didn't eat very many vegetables today. Tomorrow I'm going to try and eat more vegetables. Part of the problem is we don't have very many vegetables. We need to go shopping. Our uh, vegetable drawer, well, I guess we got tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, and avocado, so should be able to make a good something tomorrow. I don't know, salad or just put that. I have beans, beans and vegetables. I'll eat that tomorrow.